so exciting um, and it's crazy and I am moving to Rome today for the next three months. lighting situation in my new room <laughs> because I am in Rome. I can't even believe it. This is, well it's not only day one but this is my room. I've arrived in Rome and I'm in my room and this is where I'm going to be living for three months and I'm terrified but I'm also so excited, I can't even describe it. I think it's good though, it's good to do, it's good to do things that kind of terrify you and make you feel like, oh my god, what am I doing, why am I here? I don't even speak Italian. My flight was perfect, I had an entire like row of three seats to myself and there was no turbulence, it was the perfect flight. It's gonna take me some time to kind of get my brain to realize the fact that I live in Rome and it's so quiet and I'm all by myself right now. I live in Rome. <laughs> okay, it's time to go to sleep. Good night. Good morning from Rome. It's day one. Um, and yeah, I had a really good sleep in my bed. Uh, it was comfortable. It's weird being back in a single bed. I haven't been in a single bed for many years. Yeah. It's been kind of crazy this morning, all I can hear is helicopters going over. Basically yesterday, apparently, just as I was getting on my plane to come here, the mayor of Rome decided to resign. Um, and I think it was quite a shock for everybody that lives here. Um, and also the ju Jubileo, Jubileo, I think it's called, is coming up. Um, so, yeah, there's been loads of helicopters and the bells ringing a lot. I don't know what that's to do with the mayor though, but what are the chances right as I get on my plane he's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> I did nothing. The sun has returned and I'm so happy. It rained all day yesterday and I did nothing and then today the sun has come back and I'm so excited. What can we say now?
today I went to have a juice with a girl that I've never spoken to before and she was really cool and I also went to uh, a museum exhibition at the Piazza Venezia. It was an exhibition about uh, Italian emigration and I found it really interesting because I'm walking around this exhibition looking at these all this information and pictures and everything of all the immigration that has occurred with Italian people, whether Italian people going to Europe, Italian people going to America, South America, and I was reading all about it and like it's so I don't know, surreal to, to kind of distancing themselves from it saying like you know well this happened, people emigrated, they came back and how they did it and the the reception that they received in the places that they emigrated to and it's all very you know very nicely laid out and presented and it's just so weird because at the moment we're suffering really badly in Europe there's all these people moving in Europe and like it's so it's so weird that we can talk about like oh in the 1800s and the 1900s and everything was happening and all these people were moving and they were being targeted by racist people they were being targeted wherever they went and then it's like well this is happening on our doorstep so have have we learned nothing <laughs> have we learned nothing i found it really surreal to be walking around this very well presented very official very quiet exhibition uh, whilst you know right now the refugees are coming <laughs> and they're coming to Italian coasts and because they're running for their lives and they have nothing and they're leaving behind, behind everything they know. If they've been doing this for centuries, shouldn't we be at some kind of point we should be realising what's happening or we should recognise this and have some kind of plan of action? <laughs> you know, it's been, going for, it's been going on for months now. But yeah, anyway, that's what I did with my Sunday. <laughs> What day is it? Tuesday. Um, and today I've just been editing again. Finally, I've been editing my videos from my holiday. And I thought I'd come up here because it's raining, but the sky looks so cool. You can see the sky behind me and the terrace. Sometimes it's nice to see the sunsets on nice sunny days, but it's also nice to see them on rainy, miserable days. But it's still so hot here. I'm in a t-shirt, so I love it. Happy Wednesday. Can you believe I've almost been in Rome for a week? <laughs> Where has it gone? Today is the first time I actually feel like I have some kind of a purpose here and actually like I'm living here. Um, it's weird because the last time I was vlogging, I was vlogging every single day, every single thing, but I think this filming is more just like my thoughts. It's like a diary of thoughts. And on that note, I'm going for a walk.
tomorrow is Thursday, which means that um, I have made it to one week in Rome. <laughs> and yeah, it's been a week that I've just been, really been getting my feet and working out the work side of things that I need to do here. Um, and now I'm just looking forward to exploring and moving around Rome, seeing everything, really diving in at the deep end and I hope you enjoyed the videos. Um, I decided to do a weekly vlog, I decided to do a weekly vlog and I really think they're gonna get much much better as I get more comfortable with my surroundings and find more things to film because it's such a photogenic place. You walk around and everything just looks spectacular, it's amazing. But yeah, that's it for this week's vlog. And I'll see you in the next one.